Hey, sir, come back here. Nope. That was my dog. Get him. It is 5, 10 in the morning, and we are heading to the military working dog kennels for breakfast. We really want to immerse ourselves in the career field, so we got up early, and we're going to go join them for breakfast. Real quick before we go in, quick safety break. Don't, obviously, don't stick any of your fingers through the cages if you don't, you don't want to lose any appendages or anything like that. Keep them to myself. Okay, so you may be thinking, what did he say? Yeah, so we definitely underestimated the power of these dogs barking. It was loud in there, so here's basically what happened. First, Sergeant Strobel grabs all the bowls and lines them up. Then he throws in their special high calorie kibble. He also checks the list to make sure they get all their specific medications. After that, breakfast is served. He takes the bowls and slides them into the kennels, carefully to not let the dog out. Once the dog is finished eating, they let the food settle and then it's time to get to work. This is military working dog Catalina. She's only two years old. We've been working a lot together, and so it's my job to train her up to standards and then beyond. I can imagine there's a great deal of trust that you have to have oh, working absolutely. with the dog. Yeah, you can tell just the bond between us is there. She's so quick. She jumps up on whenever we're searching vehicles. She'll just hop right back up on top of the pickup truck. Catalina took a nasty spill on the A-frame over in the obstacle course. So we're gonna go to the vet office now and learn a little bit about what happens in the unfortunate event of a dog becoming injured during an exercise. Anytime that a military working dog gets hurt, they've gotta get checked out immediately. Major Monica Jones, a military working dog veterinarian here on base, immediately looked at Catalina's leg. She hit her leg pretty hard, but luckily it doesn't seem like there's any major damage. The vet says with a little rest and a little extra attention, Catalina can get back to work in just a few weeks. Sergeant Lighter here. Catalina is cleared to work. She's all better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the AFN building and we're going to surprise Airman Long and maybe get him in the suit and get a bite. We'll put her dog in. Oh, yeah. she's, is she all better? She's all better. She's cleared to work. I told her you were going to get in the suit. Yeah. So she's we, ready to get you out there and fight. All right. Let's we'll go. suit up, see how it works. All right. Good. It's good to see you. Let's go. Let's get her done. All right. So these pants are for additional protection. Addition. In right. case she gets a little too excited, exactly. and maybe misses yep. the, the target. Bam. There you go. You got one in. Yeah. I'm going to open your shoulder. Like little overalls. There you go. I would like to keep my ankles. I would like to keep everything I started the day with. That's a lot. Do I look nervous? Yes, I am. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right, sir. Get him. <laughs> This guy, yeah, I would have my alpha come in here, put your arms behind your back, and rest you while she's holding on to you. While she's holding while on. While she's holding on, okay. Cat, out! Back away. When you're just looking down, and she's looking at you, and you just see that hate. Whoo! This is a little, a little scary. Got my heart moving. Right, Round two. Get him. Good girl. Fight, fight. Yeah, that one hurt a little bit. I would not like to be a bad guy. I guess I should say that quiet. I think she likes that word. <laughs> Round three. Oh, good girl. All right, sir. Back away. Good. Yeah, so I can imagine without this suit, that would probably hurt a little bit more. Oh yeah, and when they get the real bite, it feels bad. The ambulance has to immediately come, so. There's no way I'd be getting out of that without some major injuries, so. Okay, all right, we're doing we're cool. We're good. You already got me. You already got me. You win. That was an experience that I will not forget. And I will hopefully never encounter in the real world. But I'm not a bad guy, so I shouldn't. I'm putting on my boots because taking off that suit was a bit of a challenge as well. Come on! You got some pointy toes, some oil. This is the most ridiculous thing. All for your entertainment. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.